But Dayton Public Schools just wrapping up their town hall meeting. Parents, former and current teachers, and concerned community members all there tonight. To news reporter Deborah Bogart asking the district leaders and parents about what's being done to improve the schools. That's right. Well, at tonight's meeting, there were a number of concerns, but the attendees also shared what areas the district was doing well in or had made improvements. They also learned about a new committee they could apply for. What do parents want from Dayton Public Schools? Dozens of residents broke into small groups at the town hall to discuss just that. Some groups saying communication has improved. Others say it's still an issue. Vice President Jocelyn Reinard says their renewal of the Parent Family Community Council should help with that. I hope is a way for PTOs to organize and communicate with each other and also members of the public to come and listen to the business and bring their concerns to them. After chatting with their group members, each group identified areas where the district had improved. The transparency about the information about finances has been better. The addition of instrumental music in high school and the revamping of instrumental music in elementary. Also sharing where the district is lacking. Students aren't getting grade level appropriate content in the classroom. Um, it's below level where they need to be. It's below level where they should be. A number of groups saying the lack of high school transportation is a problem. Reinard says it is a big budgeting issue, but they are trying to find a solution. We know that attendance is really important. It's something we talk about a lot. And making sure that kids have access to reliable transportation would likely improve the attendance of the city. Now, they do have just one more town hall that is going to be May 16th at Wright Brothers Middle School. Devereaux Bogart, 2 News, working for you.